Hey everyone, Jeff in Raleigh here. Let's call me today the Toyota Answer Man because I like to solve problems. I got an email from a woman this week who wanted help with her lane departure alert on her 2021 Highlander. How do you turn off the lane departure alert? I can do that. So here's where this gets interesting. You would think you could just push the lane departure alert button on your steering wheel, right? That would turn it on and off. No, it's a little bit more complicated than that. Not too complicated, but there is a trick. So here's how I'm gonna lay this out. I'm gonna show you how to do it right away, and then I'll give you some background on lane departure alert, tricks you can do with it, and then show you a little bit of our friend Highlander here. There's a Highlander Limited in magnetic gray. Let's get started. You just wanna know how to turn off lane departure alert. One of my pet peeves about YouTube videos, they don't tell you right away. Keep talking. Let's start by turning it on, and then I'm gonna show you that the default on this Highlander is going to be lane departure alert on. Right up here, lane departure alert is on. Here's the trick, or the problem we'll say. No, that made lane tracing assist active. No, that didn't do it. No, that didn't do it. That didn't do it. It's frustrating. Why can it not do it? Let's turn the cruise on and off and then push it. No, let's turn it off. Push it, it's not going. So what you wanna do is hold down the lane departure alert button for about, I don't know, two or three seconds or so. Let's try it. Hey, look at that. Real easy, it's off. Problem solved. Cruise control is still on. Turn that off too. Turn on the lane departure alert. See that? Just pushing, it's not gonna help, so. Boom, about three seconds or so, done. With lane departure alert, it's a nice safety feature because it can keep you centered in your lane alongside of cruise control, your radar cruise control with lane tracing assist is what it's called. So when your cruise control is set to radar cruise control and you've got your lane departure alert turned on, the car, through watching this camera right here, is going to keep you centered in your lane as long as the lines on both sides of your car are visible. Like a winding country road that's not gonna have clearly marked lines, that won't work. But on a highway, a main city street, even if it's dashed lines or if it's a solid line, that will keep you actively centered in your lane. In other words, if you veer off or go around a turn, it's still gonna keep you centered. It'll kind of bounce you back into the lane. You can keep your hands off the wheel. Please don't do this, but you can do it for about eight seconds or so, and then the car's gonna say, please hold the steering wheel. So the car even knows when you're driving distracted. It also knows when you're testing out that lane tracing assist feature. So, hey Jeff, keep your hands on the wheel. I don't care if you're testing out the system. Here's a trick for radar cruise control. If you want to make it a fixed, in other words, not radar cruise control, I can show you that one too. We'll call that an extra bonus for today. So right now the cruise is on and you can see this is radar cruise control. It shows a car there and it's a varying speed. It can adjust the distance between you and the cars in front of you based on what you have it set at. I've got it set at three bars right now. That's a conservative distance. It'll back you off and you'll be going the distance that the car in front of you is going. So let's change that to a conservative two bar speed and that's a distance that's gonna be a little bit closer. It's one bar. So that means it'll put you closer to the car in front of you, close up that gap, but you'll still be going, if you're slowing down to go their speed, you're still a safe distance. It's just closer to, I don't wanna call it tailgate distance because it's not even close to that. Now watch this, we have to adjust this. I don't wanna do that. I want it to stay at 77. I want it to stay at 64. So you're gonna have to hold this down do that okay there I go hold it down and it says constant speed control ready it takes away the car okay so that way you know that it's a fixed speed so whatever you have your cruise control set at it's gonna stay at that speed now if you want to adjust that there we go now radar cruise is active so that's how you do it hold down that button for a few seconds and same thing with lane departure alert. Guys and girls, it's time for my favorite part of the video. 
we're gonna do a couple dad jokes. So if you've got little kids at home and they always groan and go, oh, mom, that's not funny. Dad, you are not funny. Let's hit them with these ones here. What is something that the shy pebble said? I wish I was a little bolder. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. Didn't say that, but I wish I was a little bolder. Get it? Bolder? All right, forget that. Try another one. Past, present, and future walk into a bar. It was tense. <laughs> Get it? Tense? Nah? Waka waka. And even though this video is not specifically about Highlander, since we're here, I'm happy to give you a little walk around tour of it. You can see it has backup parking sonars, those are the little dots you see in the back, so it alerts you. It's got 20 inch chrome or super chrome alloy wheels. Sharp. This is magnetic gray. I love this color. See it shine in the sun. I think we're all used to the new front end of Highlander now. LED everything, really. LED headlights, daytime running lights, fog lights, and then the front grill. It's a three-dimensional gloss black design. It's got a chrome outline along with this little, looks like a bull's horn to me. It's cool though, right? This has Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 Plus. It is the latest and greatest Toyota Safety Sense. So hopefully it'll help you prevent accidents, front collisions, lane changing collisions, help you driving at night, all that jazz. All that jazz. And I've got this video segmented by chapter. So if you don't want to see the window sticker, feel free to just go to the back, the outro. You can hear my words of wisdom and we'll play it out. This is the Limited, made in Princeton, Indiana. Front wheel drive, this one is. Has really good safety ratings. Here's the fuel mileage, up to 29 on the highway. This one here starts off at 44,000 from the factory, but it adds in the 12.3 inch touchscreen that you find standard on the Platinum model. Bird's eye view camera as well, so you can really see if you're about to clip somebody on the side of the front bumper or backing up in a parking lot especially. 5,000 pound tow capacity, 295 horsepower with that 3.5 liter V6 engine. Take a look at these. Safety. All right, exterior. Has a hands-free power lift gate. That means it's foot operated. There you go. See, normally this would have an eight inch touchscreen, but we've upgraded that. Dynamic navigation too. Leather seats, I like it. This is normally, we should show you this, it's normally seven seating, but it has a zero charge upgrade. That way for people who wanna sit, say three people across or three kids, they have triplets. Seat them all the way across the middle, they could do that. No charge for that. All right, we get it delivered to the dealerships. This one has some options on it. It's got running boards. It's got some hood and door paint protection, carpet mats with cargo mat and rear bumper protector. That's the chrome strip we saw. And then this one will be 48,000. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I really appreciate you all being here. If you haven't already, please hit like and subscribe. I'd love to have you part of my Toyota community, my car loving forum, right? We love vehicles. We love Toyota reliability, dependability. It lasts forever, right? If you own one, you probably know that for the most part. So. Thanks so much. Please follow me on Instagram. I'm at Toyota Jeff One. You can follow me. I'm biting my lip there. I'm also on Facebook at Toyota Jeff. Different types of content for different types of people and interests and things like that. I also write for Torque News. TorqueNews.com slash Toyota. And I cover Toyota stories. I wrote something on the new engine and new transmission for the 2022 Tundra. So if you want to hear more about that, go to torquenews.com slash Toyota, because I cover Toyota. Thanks everyone so much. If you have a question for the Toyota answer guy, Toyota Jeff, I'm happy to answer it for you. It might just end up being another video, because if you have a question, somebody else in another part of the country or the part of the world is going to have a similar question. Maybe we can help a lot of people here. So you can do that at toyotajeff.com. Just go to toyotajeff.com and fill out the comment section at the bottom. 
All right, everybody. I think we're out. Bye. Woo.